Good evening. Fox blinked on the day that Fox attorneys and the attorneys for Dominion Voting Systems, the company that was suing them for defamation, were to make opening statement in their $1.6 billion lawsuit. Fox decided to settle. $787.5 million. That's how much the Fox Corporation will pay. It's half of what Dominion says they were seeking, but a historic amount nonetheless. The Fox Corporation clearly deciding it was better to pay the money than have their star anchors try to explain under oath the election denialism and disinformation they either spread themselves or help spread by giving others who are lying a platform night after night after night. In a statement after the settlement was announced, Fox said, and I quote, We acknowledge the court's rulings finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. The settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. Now, I just want to repeat that. The first part of it said, we acknowledge the court's rulings finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. That might sound sort of maybe like an apology, but it's not. They acknowledge the court ruling doesn't really mean anything, and their description that certain claims about Dominion were false is vague at best. As for the second part of that statement, that this settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards, as Mike Wallace used to say when interviewing someone shoveling crap, come on. If there is anything we learn from the depositions, texts, and emails that were released by Dominion in the lead up to this case, is that there was no commitment to even basic journalistic standards where the 2020 election was concerned. Fox anchors said one thing on air to the audience they feared might abandon them, go over to some other uh, more conservative news channel, and another thing off air in texts and emails to one another. What most concerned Fox was not properly reporting on the lies that were being spread by guests on their air or by some of their hosts. No, what most concerned them was losing viewers. Fox argued it was just reporting on claims about Dominion, its voting systems in the 2020 election, but they did that more, they did far more than that. They were willing participants in spreading false claims of fraud. The machine ran an algorithm that shaved votes from Trump and awarded them to Biden. They used the machines to trash large batches of votes that should have been awarded to President Trump. And they used the machine to inject and add massive quantities of votes for Mr. Biden. The only reason I we thought, really found thought, out how bad it was. I thought Democrats told us that we like whistleblowers. You're saying that these people can't talk because they're going to lose their job. Now, that's Sean Hannity weeks after the 2020 election. It was cited by Dominion in their defamation case. Hannity told the Dominion lawyers in a deposition, quote, that whole narrative that Sidney Powell was pushing, I did not believe it for one second. Anyone with journalistic standards would have confronted Powell about her completely ludicrous, unproven, and false claims, but he didn't do that. The documents also show that Tucker Carlson privately expressed concerns about Sidney Powell, as did others at Fox. But he wasn't saying them on air. According to Dominion, he even sent her a text message, quoting now from a Dominion court filing, quote, Tucker Carlson told Sidney Powell, quote, you keep telling our viewers that millions of votes were changed by the software. I hope you will prove that very soon. You convince them that Trump will win if you don't have conclusive evidence of fraud at that scale. It's a cruel and reckless thing to keep saying. Again, he never said anything like that on his show. As the Dominion documents point out, Carlson hosted other election liars like Mike Lindell. Every outlet in the country, they go, Mike Lindell, there's no evidence and he's making fraudulent statements. No, I have the evidence. I dare people to put it on. I dare Dominion to sue me because then it would get out faster. So this is, it, you know, they don't they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to no, say, they, they just say, oh, you're wrong. And I'm going, well, they're, you know, they're not making would... conspiracy theories go away by doing that. Certainly there no pushback there. There were times Fox anchors made the right call. For instance, Neil Cavuto cut away from a live field campaign press conference by the former president's team, watch. We want every legal vote to be counted and we want every illegal vote to whoa, be- Whoa, whoa, I, I just think we have to be very clear that she's charging, uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up, I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. All right, well, that's a sign of some journalistic standard, but we now know that Fox executives were uh, upset by what Cavuto did, quoting the Dominion documents about a communication from Raj Shah, a Fox senior vice president who once worked at the White House, quote, the brand team led by Raj Shah at Fox Corporation notified senior Fox News and Fox Corporation leadership of the, quote, brand threat, unquote, posed by Cavuto's action. It was a, quote, brand threat to tell your audience that you were not going to allow unvetted, unsubstantiated claims about the election on air. 
that doesn't show much corporate commitment to the highest journalistic standards. In fact, when a reporter dared to fact check the former president's lies about Dominion, Tucker Carlson, according to the documents Dominion released, was freaked out, reached out to Sean Hannity, seemingly panicked. Quote, Carlson told Hannity, please get her fired. Seriously, what the F? Actually shocked. It needs to stop immediately, like tonight. It's measurably hurting the company. The stock price is down. Not a joke. The fact that he allegedly works for a news organization and he's fretting about the impact of facts on the corporation's stock price, that is a joke. The stock prices down are not the words of someone with the highest journalistic standards. And by the way, according to the documents, by the next morning, that reporter had, quote, deleted her fact-checking tweet. Turns out Tucker Carlson hated Donald Trump. According to messages Dominion got from Fox during the discovery process, he wrote in a text message to a colleague, I hate him passionately. And he also wrote, we are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. I truly can't wait. We start this evening with Davida Brooke, the lead counsel for Dominion Voting Systems. Um, appreciate you joining us tonight. Can you talk about the decision to settle? Obviously, from a financial standpoint, it makes sense. It's a huge number. Uh, you're representing a corporation. A jury trial is unpredictable, no matter how strong one's evidence may be. Given, though, the threats against Dominion employees, against the family of the CEO and election workers who use your equipments, uh, use your the, the Dominion equipment, why settle for a financial without a, an apology? Thank you, Anderson, and I appreciate that. I actually think your question hit on it perfectly. So I represent a corporation, and bringing this lawsuit was about two things. It was about getting them accountability, and it was about getting them justice. And we felt like we got that accountability with the summary judgment decision and being able to expose all of the very information that you so eloquently went through in your introduction. And today was about getting them some justice, not just in the form of the single largest defamation verdict I think this country has ever seen, not just in the form of, I think, the single largest payout Fox has ever made, but in the form of giving them some closure. These are people, as you said, who have spent the last two and a half years receiving vicious and horrific threats on their lives and their livelihood. And to give them the peace to not have to come out here and relive that trauma and do so on such a public stage was something that we were really, really just happy to be able to give to them today. I don't know if this is a question you can answer, um, but I think it's a fair question. Are those employees, some of whom are lower level employees who actually are in the places where the machines are and are the ones getting yelled at, are they going to share in the bounty of this settlement? Well, several of our employees are shareholders in the company itself. And so that is a wonderful thing about Dominion and one of the many things about the company that we are so proud of. But lower level employees who are not shareholders, um, I mean, they're the ones you're saying should get closure. Will this, uh, will there be any, you know, benef you know bonuses for them? The employees I'm talking about who are going to come here and share those stories, many of them are shareholders of this company, Anderson. Okay. Um, was there an effort to get uh, some on-air apologies from Fox anchors or from the corporation? Look, Fox News are big boys and girls. They can and should do whatever they need to do to live up to those high journalistic standards that you spoke so much about at the top of the show, Anderson. I think that what we wanted, what we needed was accountability, and we got that in two forms, both in the summary judgment opinion that they finally acknowledged today, they acknowledged that the statements that they broadcast on their air were false, but also in the fact that this case didn't settle until now. This case didn't settle before the documents were made public. This case didn't settle until the world got to see what really went on at Fox News in 2020, and that was what we were focused on. Fox released a statement that you're referencing uh, that read, in part, we acknowledge the court's rulings finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. Was that language part of, of the settlement? Was that part of something you guys worked out, can you say? I can't comment on the details of the settlement agreement, Anderson, okay. but I can say that it meant a lot to the folks at Dominion to finally hear Fox acknowledge the clear falsity of the statements that they aired. Do you... Uh, do, do you believe that that was acknowledging the clear falsities? Because it just says that they, um, you know, they recognize the court's findings. Do you feel like that's as close as you, as you would get? I think they can do more, and I hope they do do more. Yeah, no, I, I think they can do more, and I hope they do do more. 
But what we needed from them was them to acknowledge the just wonderful summary judgment opinion that we got from this court behind me that, as we all know now, made it crystal clear that the claims that were spread about Dominion were false. In a statement, Fox also said, you know, uh, they referenced their, quote, continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. Does Dominion believe that Fox has the highest journalistic standards? I don't believe we think that, Anderson. <laughs>